Oh, what's up guys? Chef Yoda 4x4 at yodatech.com. You can see the tilt inclinometer or tiltometer. Um, I've cleaned it up. This is the one that I'm going to be putting on the on my the thread I'm going to do for classifieds or whatever, but I won't go into that. I basically just wanted to show you um, this dial right here when I got this out of the car, um, the donor that I got. I mean, this angle right here on this one was like 40 degrees. It was past even the limit. And I thought, ah, oh, darn it, it's maybe it's broken. Uh, but I brought it home, thought maybe I could fix it, and then I maybe I'd let everyone know how to fix it once I figure that out. <laughs> so I went to four crawler side. I I saw the insides of it and how it works. It's pretty unique, uh, pretty interesting. Um, he put it in other words, uh, like he's an engineer, so he's quite impressed with the engineering being just a basically a mechanical thing with counterweights etc so I'm not going to take it apart I, I wanted to get pictures but I couldn't get the camera back until after I'd finished this but I wanted to show you how how you deal with this okay take it over here and as you can see I've I've adjusted it now to where it's level okay um, this actually sits like this in the car, so then the other one comes level as well. And then that is the altitude here, so I, w I made sure I could adjust them all. Now, when you're going to take this apart, uh, in order to fix it, you're going to take these four screws, one on each corner, and then a flathead, that's a f these are Phillips, and then three flathead screws that hold in these, di these uh, dials. Make sure you take those off before you try to pull the cover off. So you're going to pull those off, uh, pull these off, pull the screws out, and uh, pop the face off. Once you got that off, you'll see it's just a couple hollows in here. One larger one here and one here, uh, individual for the altimeter. And these are just basically little tiny thin plastic dials uh, like this that uh, have the picture painted on there and float on the end of a, a shaft that you just basically slide the that little face plate on you could pull it right off actually but it's kind of snug so and I didn't want to crack you know anything so basically you take these screws out pop this face off and then on the back pull the light and pull these three screws and that piece uh, with the two gyros in it will just fall right out okay well you don't want it to fall out so just carefully pull it out these will still be attached obviously to it um, and it's like I said a set of gears and counterweights on this thing and when you pull it out all you do to adjust these things if they're really cocked to the side and you're thinking oh it's broken that's what I thought um, but I thought ah, what the heck Roger Forecrawler did a good write up and showed me you know how it works at least I could try so I took that thing out and on the back there's those counterweights on the end of a gear and it turns kind of like you would see a window uh, like the window gears that you know one turns the motor turns and it turns those two gears together and it kind of works weird like that by counterweights and whatever app I guess um, just basic science you know um, so on the back what I did was I took the weight and I found what was the center point of its you know ultimate that it could swing either way found the center point held it still and as I held the thing still in the back right here like holding it holding it right here I just turned that little thing until it was level that's it that's all it took to adjust that and make it level again so you could see it fully works and uh, tilt up meter ah, we're going to crash <laughs> so and when you hold it level you know, pretty much level let's see there we go it will come back to level and they're they're all adjust it's all adjustable you know as well so that's why I put the weights in the center and then I just adjusted them both you just take this little round plastic piece it's exactly this a little bit past the you know what the glass allows there and turned it either way and then kept adjusting it until I got it just right and then I figured I'll just put the cover on and I can always adjust it here and uh, so it's set um, that's it I just wanted to share that this is very fixable if you find that this dial is off um, that's all it is it just needs to be you need to just turn the plastic cover on there the indicator and um, hold the weight still and it will adjust that's it obviously if it's not tilting at all um, 
when you turn the meter, you know, like this, uh, you got a problem. Something's probably wrong with it. It's maybe broken off the back or it's stripped out. Uh, but it, it does fit on there with a little bushing, nice and snug. So, uh, but still turnable, you know. So that's it. That's how to adjust that if you ever want to fix it.